Okay, uh, turn in your ready book to page 82. We're going to go over part three, um, comparing unit rates. It says, read the problem below, then explore different ways to understand how to find and compare unit rates. It says, Jose's mother is trying to decide whether or not she should buy a 12-ounce package of coffee on sale for $7.50. She knows that she can buy the exact same coffee, same brand and everything, for $9 per pound. Um, at another grocery store. It says, which is the better buy? So I'm going to highlight important information that we need, which would be the 12 ounce package of coffee for $7.50. And then we know that she can get the same coffee for $9, $9 per pound at a different grocery store. Okay. Um, we need to uh, get some background knowledge about pounds and ounces and how they relate to one another. So um, I have typed up here, which you guys need to write in your ready book. Again, anything that I write down and type, you need to do the same in your ready book. Um, again, we're on page 82. It says, um, I've typed that LB, that is the abbreviation that represents pounds. OZ is the abbreviation for ounces. And one pound equals 16 ounces. They're equivalent um, as far as one pound is equivalent to 16 ounces. So we need to know how does 12 ounces relate to one pound. So we know if we set up a ratio, 12 ounces is equal to one pound. We know that one of the bags, of course, was 12 ounces, but that the second bag for pounds, there's 16 ounces in one pound. Well, we can simplify this fraction, 12 over 16, because we have a common factor of 4. So if we take 12 divided by 4, we're left with 3. And if we take 16 divided by 4, we get 4. So 12 ounces, a 12 ounce package is the same as 3 fourths of a pound. Okay, so as you can draw a double number line to show the relationship described in the problem. To find the better buy, compare the unit rate of each option. The problem gives you one unit rate of $9 per pound. To compare unit rates, the units must be the same. So find the weight of the other coffee in pounds. There are 16 ounces in one pound, so 12 ounces is the same as three-fourths of a pound. You can write $7.50 using fractions. You can write $7.50 as seven and a half because 50 cents is half of a dollar, so that's how um, and why they are considered to be equivalent. So on our double number lines here, um, along the first number line, it's the cost in dollars, and then the second number line is the amount of coffee in pounds. It says that we're going to start both number lines at zero. We're going to divide the bottom number into force. Um, the reason why we're going to divide it into force is because we're talking pounds of coffee. Um, so from zero pounds to one pound, we know that three-fourths of a pound is how much a 12-ounce bag is. So since we're sectioning it off in force, then it would be one-half or two-fourths and then one-fourth. Um, we're going to line the three-fourths of a pound of, of coffee with the cost of seven dollars um, and fifty cents, seven and a half dollars. Okay, and our job is to figure out what is the cost of that twelve-ounce bag um, is going to be for one pound to see which one is the actual better buy. So to find the cost for each quarter pound of coffee, then we'll find the unit cost. So we know that three-fourths of a pound is seven and a half dollars. So to figure out how much it would be for um, the 12 ounce bag, what we need to do is set up a complex fraction, which that's what you see here in this text box. If we take seven and a half divided by three fourths, so seven and a half is the price, three fourths is the amount of coffee. If we turn that um, mixed number into an improper fraction, that would become 15 over two because two times seven is 14 and 14 plus 1 is 15, 15 halves, and divide it by 3 fourths, 
that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal in both the numerator and the denominator, so that way we can get a um, second quantity equal to 1 for unit rate. So if we take 15 times 4, we get 60, and 2 times 3, we get 6. Then when we multiply the denominator straight across, we get 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 3 is 12. Well, 12 over 12 is the same thing as one whole. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So I've simplified it down to 60 over 6 over 1, which the same thing it's the same thing as 60 over 6. Um, we can simplify 60 over 6 by dividing 60 divided by 6, because again, a fraction is the same thing as a division problem. 60 divided by 6 is 10. So one pound of this 12 ounce coffee would cost $10. So it's asking which one was considered to be the better buy. It would have to be the $9 per pound, that the same brand but at a different grocery store um, because you're saving a dollar versus the 12 ounce package for $7.50. By purchasing the one pound bag at that second grocery store at $9, you, you are actually saving a dollar for that. Okay, so moving on to page 83, let's answer the questions about it. It says, um, the top number line is divided into three equal parts from zero to seven and a half, and the bottom number line is divided into three equal parts from zero to three fourths. How can you use this to find the cost of, of um, one pound of coffee? So, <clears throat> um, how you would do that is divide... Seven and one half, and I'm putting a space between it so that way um, you know that that is a mixed number because um, there's not another way to, to represent that. Um, divide seven and a half by three to find the length of each part to get the number that lines up with one, you need four of these parts. Let me move that down so you can see. Okay. So since you need four of those parts, if you take, and I've done the math up here in the top right hand corner, if you take the seven and a half and divide it by the three equal sections, Again, 7 and 1 half as an improper fraction is 15 halves and divide it by 3 over 1 because 3 over, the one, over 1 is the same value of 3. Uh, again, we need to multiply by the reciprocal to make sure we get a denominator equivalent to 1. So 15 times 1 is 15. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. And 1 times 3 is 3. 3 over 3 is the same thing as 1 whole. Um, so we're left with 15 over 6 divided by 1, which is itself 15 over 6. 6 will go into 15 evenly two times. Um, so 2 times 6 is 12, and we have to subtract 12 away from 15 to figure out the remainder. So 15 minus 12 is 3, so we're left with 3 6. Well, 2 and 3 6 is the same as 2 and 1 half when you simplify it. So if we take the 2 and 1 half and multiply it by 4, we get the $10, okay? Um, because whenever we take the 7 and 1 half divided by 3, we get the length of 2 and 1 half. That's where that's coming from when we divided. And to get the number that lines up with 1, we had 4 separate parts, so we needed to take 4 times the 2 and a half to get to the $10. Number 12, it says write the ratio that compares seven and one half dollars to three fourths of a pound of coffee. Um, we're comparing dollars to the pounds of coffee, so that would be seven and one half. Again, that's not 71 over two, it's seven as a whole number and one half as the fractional part. And then for the pounds of coffee, that would be three fourths. For number 13, it says write and simplify 
a division expression to find the cost of one pound of coffee. Um, for that, I'm going to say refer back to the um, bottom of page 82. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm saying refer back to the bottom of page 82 is right here. Um, this is where we got our information. This is where we did our math. So there's no, no need to just copy it back over. Okay, so I'm just going to say refer back to the bottom of page 82. So please write that. Um, it says, which is the better buy? 12 ounces for $7.50 or one pound for $9? Explain your reasoning. Well, the one pound bag For nine dollars is the better buy you get the same amount of coffee in terms of pounds but for a dollar cheaper. And guys, whenever you are going to the grocery store, whenever you're on a budget, um, every dollar counts. Um, so if you're trying to budget your money and watch your money um, on certain things that you purchase, um, then you're going to weigh which, which one is the better buy. Um, so that way you're getting more quantity for a cheaper price. It says, if you started the problem by converting one pound to 16 ounces, would you get the same result? Justify your conclusion. Yes, you would. You could have grown. This is a possibility, okay? Um, you could have grown a double number line. Or um, you could have written... You could write um, and solve a proportion and you still would have got that same answer. It says, can you compare any two unit rates? Can you compare any two unit rates? Um, the answer here would be no. The rate must have the same units to be able to to compare them. So in other words, with this example, this we could not just compare the 12 ounce bag to the one pound bag. We had to get them to where they had the exact same units um, to be able to compare the quantity to be sure which one would be the better buy. So you had to choose one to convert to the other uh, units to be able to compare them because it, in this case they were considered to be in unlike terms. Number 17, Rena's recipe uses two cups of sugar to make two and a half dozen cookies. Jonah's recipe uses two and a half cups of sugar to make three dozen cookies. Which recipe uses more sugar for a dozen cookies? So I'll give you a second to work that out and see which one uses more sugar. See what you can come up with. Okay, so with, um, it says which recipe uses more sugar? That would be Rena. Okay, and here's why. If you take her um, amount, which was two cups, divided by two and one half, 
okay when you divide those values you get four fifths okay whereas with Jonah with Jonah if you take two and let me double check this again there two and one fourth divide that by three you get three fourths so it's asking which one had more sugar well that would be rena um this was jonah So Rena, I'm going to highlight um, put hers in red. Uh, Rena had the, the more um, sugar in her cookies.